Welcome, and um, it's very good to see all of you here for this special seminar by Manfred Kant. Decades ago, I was fond of roaming the extraordinary block of bookstores between Dwight and Tate and Haste on Telegraph Avenue in Berkeley. It was probably not the new bookstore on the corner of Haste, or a little room with books called Shambhala, not yet a large publishing industry infiltrating the West with the knowledge of Eastern and esoteric philosophies and meditation technologies. It was probably not in those places that I first discovered the work of Manfred Kant. It was instead of in one of the two great used bookstores, Moe's or Shakespeare's, that I read passages from a book called Centrix, first in the aisle to save money, but it was one of those few books I needed to buy. There were so many books in those days discussing the limitations of intellect if it is not supplemented by experience. Many strain toward legitimacy by evoking a reputable text. And one quotation kept reappearing, a poignant reminder that other confirming texts were hard to find. It was this one from William James' Varieties of Religious Experience. It is that our normal waking consciousness, rational consciousness as we call it, is but one special type of consciousness, whilst all about it, parted by the from it by the filmiest of screens, there lie potential forms of consciousness entirely different. Manfred Kind's project felt different from this proliferation of books. Though he too knew of transports and ecstasies transcending normal consciousness, but it seemed to me they emerged naturally and safely from the deepening rather than bypassing of those rational and affective capacities culti cultivated incrementally by great traditions. The originality and novelty was there, but as a sweet effervescence building up upon the best of what humanity had already secured, not as a perilous or superficial departure. He carved sentence after sentence with a steady, clean incisiveness that showed how rationality itself can be wrapped in the aesthetic. He too summoned deeper regions of experience, but he did so by gently wielding his expertise in science and music two great currents of human achievement that stabilized his explorations. He was a friend of Pablo Casals and studied music under him and other great teachers, Edwin Fisher and Sasha Borodnitsky and Olga samarov stakowski at the Juilliard School from which he graduated with an MS. He became a renowned classical pianist performing to great acclaim on three continents. It, he also has had a flourishing career as a neuroscientist, which included the discovery of the biologic law of unidirectional rate sensitivity. His stature as a scientist informed the Semtex books not only with apt references, but with a compelling rigor and terseness applied to its subject the fundamental forms of emotion. I had the feeling this is something sound. This adds to the stream of human possibility. The soundness of Klein's book, the compelling focus on the felt springs of our humanity, the beautiful rigor of the writing, formed a backdrop for what stayed with me all these years and has grown in my heart and blood, and even into my higher mind, with a persistent, often hidden force. The center of what has inspired and provoked me is what Kleins calls scented forms. Using one of his 40 patented inventions, the centigraph, he found a way to measure and graph the pattern of distinct emotions. The nuanced, uncontrolled gradation of the touch of a finger, whether the finger of a Balinese expressive artist, a Zen Buddhist monk in Toyota, or an American academician, 
when someone brings a particular emotion into the field of consciousness, show dividing and consistent forms when someone... When I looked at these graphs, these patterns on the page of his book, it became something like, like what Wordsworth calls a spot of time, which with distinct, distinct preeminence retains a fructifying virtue. I looked at these curved lines on the pages of his book showing the forms issuing again and again from very human hands, forms of love, hate, anger, sex, joy, grief, and reverence, 